If you have ever been to Copernic Park, you have surely noticed the white bollards and linked chains that grace the perimeter of the park. Each year, we work with the city of Utica and others to make improvements to the area, whether it's trimming trees, paving Eagle Street, or advocating for new curbs and sidewalks. Beyond those wonderful physical improvements, we try to work creatively to put other projects together that give opportunity to youth, gather a diverse array of people to work together, and leave the park in better shape than we originally found it. With the Bullards in particular, we thought of a way to tie in the culture and history of our community and the culture that already exists in the park. On the west side of the park, facing Genesee Street, is a large statue of Nicholas Copernicus, Polish astronomer and father of modern astronomy. The Copernic Memorial Association of Central New York raised funds to erect the statue. The culture and contribution of our Polish community has always had a great presence in the park. We extended that love for culture to the Bullard Project. With the guidance and data from the center, local historians, and other sources, we identified 19 countries where the greatest number of people have come to Utica from, of course, including Poland. Our vision was to capture symbolism and language from each country to adorn the Bollards, following a cool one world theme that keeps coming up in projects that celebrates how we come together from many places right here in Utica. This was the perfect project to work on with ceramic artist Vartan Pagoshin from Four Element Studio in downtown Utica. He is a self-taught Armenian artist who loves bringing the community together through art whenever he can. He recruited two young ladies to work alongside him. Do Kapa Sopa and Epla worked side by side with Vartan, learning more about clay, design, glazing, project management, deadlines, collaboration, and more. Together, they created tiles with symbolism from each country, being extremely thoughtful on color choices and imagery. Tone translators at the center assisted in translating hello and welcome in different languages for each of the countries to adorn round tiles that will be on the top of each bollard, leaving behind a 24 seven message of welcome, acceptance, and friendship to anyone who passes by the park. Rounding out the team was Kathy Marsh. Her artwork and skills are so varied and special that it's hard to give her a title or peg her for a particular style. But we knew that she is a mosaic master and the installation of the tiles was left in her great care. We encourage you to visit the park and spend some time interacting with this unique project. Try out some new languages and enjoy the beauty of the imagery and skill of the artist. The Bullards at Copernic Park celebrating Uticans from many countries now living and growing together in one city.